Hello guys, good morning. Can you able to hear my voice? Please confirm. Yes, sir. Have you tried this program? While loop inside another while loop. Have you tried this program? Do you have any doubts in the previous programs? Any doubts in the previous programs? So we know how inner loop works. While loop inside another while loop. So I hope you have uh, tried that while loop inside another while loop. So you must trace it. If you are not able to trace, then please let me know. So that is I have given for assignment program. I have given it as assignment program. Now we'll move on to next loop that is called do while. Next loop is do while loop. Do while. In case of do while. In case of do while. First body will execute. First body will execute. Within the do section, we have the body. Do. First body will execute. First body will execute. Then only it is going to check the condition. In case of normal while loop, in case of normal while loop, first it is going to check the condition. Then only it is going to enter the body. In the normal while loop, first it is going to check the condition, then only it is going to enter the body. But in case of do while, but in case of do while, first it is going to execute the body. First it is going to execute the body, then only it is going to check the condition. Then only it is going to Check the condition. First, it is going to execute the body. Do. See, first what happens? Main begin. First main begin. Then I will be initializing to zero. Do. Body colon space current I value. That is zero. Current I value zero will be printed. Then I will be incremented to one. Because of I plus plus. I will be incremented to 1 because of I plus plus. After that, it is going to check the condition. After executing the body, it is going to check the condition. While 0 less than 5, yes. Once again, it has to execute the body. If the condition is true, as long as the condition is true, do I loop, it is going to execute the body. 
at last do while loop it is going to check the condition after executing the body after executing the body it is going to check the condition now zero less than five yes once again it is going to execute the body body colon space i value as of now one one is becoming two one is becoming two now it is going to check the condition whether two less than five yes two less than five once again it has to execute the body body colon space printing two two is becoming three two is becoming three checking the while whether three less than five whether three less than five yes once again going inside the body of the do while loop body colon space current i value is three three is becoming four three is becoming four whether four less than five yes once again entering the body body colon space four then i is becoming five i is becoming five then checking the while condition whether five less than five <clears throat> no five is not less than five loop do while loop is going to break now do while loop is going to come out the control comes out of do while loop then printing the main int compile and execute this program we will get from 0 to 4 sorry what do we get in this case what do we get 0 to 4 or 0 to 5 Zero to four or zero to five. Zero to four. I value will be printed from zero to four. See in the interview, they might ask that which loop we can able to execute the body. Which loop we can able to execute the body in the beginning itself before checking the condition. In the which loop we can able to execute the body without checking the condition. That is do while loop. Now one more advantage is there in case of do while. One more advantage is there in case of do while. What is that another advantage is even though the condition fails. even though the condition fails body will be executing once that means one iteration is guaranteed one iteration is guaranteed even though even though the condition fails even though the condition fails one iteration is guaranteed <clears throat> because before checking the condition 
it is going to execute the body do i know before checking the condition it is going to execute the body it doesn't matter whether condition is going to return true or false it doesn't matter but body will be executing in the initial initial initially what happens body will be executing first control will enter the body first control enter the enters the body it does not matter that whether the condition is going to return true or false regardless of the condition whether it is going to return true or false it does not matter first control will enters the body executing the body then only it is going to check the condition so first iteration is guaranteed one iteration is guaranteed interviewer my task in which loop in which loop one iteration is guaranteed even though the condition fails even though the condition fails which it, which in which loop we can get one iteration guaranteed in the do while loop in the do while loop one iteration is guaranteed even though even though the condition fails one iteration is guaranteed observe this one initially i will be initializing to 10 initially i will be initializing to 10 2 enter in the body of the do while loop body column space current i value that is 10 current i value that is 10 print in body column space current i value that is 10 i will be incrementing to 1 i is becoming 11 from 10 to 11 current i value is 10 Then is becoming eleven. Now it is going to check the condition. Whether whether eleven less than ten? No, eleven is not less than ten. Condition fails. Condition fails. Comes out of do I know? control will be coming out of do while loop here even though the condition fails even though condition is failing one iteration is guaranteed because first it is going to execute the body body colon space 10 then i value is incrementing to 11 then only it is going to check the condition at last now we are getting false if the control executes the body that is what we are calling iteration so one iteration got over it is not going to 
execute it is not going to execute the second iteration because we are getting false here one iteration we got even though condition has failed main begin body colon space 10 main end come to the next Analyze the output here. Analyze the output. First, main begin, then I is initializing to 10, entering the body of the do while loop, I is becoming 11, body colon 11. Whether, whether 11 equal to 20, no. Then it is going to check the condition. Whether 11 greater than 10, yes, 11 is greater than 10. Once again, entering the body of the do while, 11 is becoming 12. 11 is becoming 12. Body, body colon 12, whether 12 equal to 20, no. then it is going to check the condition, 12 greater than 10, yes, 12 is becoming 13. Once again, going inside the body of the do while. Twelve is becoming thirteen. Printing body column thirteen. Thirteen equal to twenty? No. Now it is going to check the condition. Thirteen greater than ten? Yes. Thirteen is becoming fourteen.
14 double equal to 20 no checking the condition 14 greater than 10 yes once again going inside the body 14 is becoming 15 printing the same 15 equal to 20 no checking the condition 15 greater than 10 yes going inside the body 15 is becoming 16 printing the same 16 double equal to 20 no checking the condition 16 greater than 10 yes once again going inside the body 16 is becoming 17 printing the same 17 17 double equal to 20 no 17 greater than 10 yes going inside the body 17 is becoming 18 18 double equal to 20 no 18 greater than 10 yes going inside the body i value is incrementing to 19 printing the same 19 double equal to 20 no 19 greater than 10 yes 19 is becoming 20 now it is going to print 20 whether 20 double equal to 20 yes now it is going to enter the if block then we have break now it is going to terminate to while loop it is going to terminate do while loop we don't get next iteration we don't get next iteration because there is a break there is a break it is going to it is going to terminate the do while loop Now control will be coming out of do while loop, then printing main end. This much of output we get. Compile and run. Come to the next program, try to analyze and tell me the output. Everybody, everybody should try. See, everybody must send the output. Please send the output. Everybody, analyze and send.
Mohan, check your answer. Please observe everybody. <clears throat> First main begin. I is initializing to zero. Straight away it is going to enter the do while body. Body colon current time value that is zero. Okay, it is not one Mohan. It is zero. Then I is becoming one because of I plus plus. I is becoming one. Now it is going to check the condition. Why? While checking the condition, once again we have the expression I plus plus. So what happens? Current I value. What is the current I value? One. One is becoming two. One is becoming two. But one only applied there. One only applied there. One only will be applying here. I is becoming two. I is becoming two. But one only applied. One double equal to one? Yes. We got the two. There is no necessity of checking another expression. There is no necessity of checking another operand here. Here itself, we got the true, right? Here itself, we got the true, if and only if, if and only if, if this operand returns false, then only it will check another operand. But in this case, the first operand itself, we are getting true. So what is the necessity of checking another operand? It won't check. Straight away, straight away, it is going to enter the body of the do while. Now current value of i is 2. See, so many of you have written 1. It is not 1, it is 2. Now i is becoming 3. i is becoming 3. Carefully observe. Now i is becoming 3. Because of i plus plus, i is becoming 3. Now, once again, checking the condition, whether, see here, we have another expression, current I value, current I value is 3, current I value is 3. Now, 3 is becoming 4, 3 is becoming 4, here we are just. 3 is becoming 4. 3 is becoming 4. But 3 only apply. Whether 3 double equal to 1? No. It is going to check another operand also. It is going to check another operand also. Now 4 is becoming 5. 4 is becoming 5. 4 is becoming 5. Current value of i is 4. Now 4 is becoming 5. But 4 only applied here. 4 only applied here. Whether 4, whether 4 double equal to 2. No. This is also written false. Comes out. Printing main entry. Observe carefully. 
ticket main begin body colon zero body colon two main end We can also check what is the last value of y. That also we can do. Main end <coughs> simply print the value. Let's check plus i. What is the last i value? That is five. Observe carefully. Once again, compile, then run. Main end i value is five. See, all of you have given the wrong answer. It seems. Nobody has given the proper answer. See, this shows you are not practicing. Double and operator, double or operator, increment operator. We have completed in the last week itself. In the beginning of the class itself, I have told you thousand times. You need to practice. Without practice, you don't get the clarity. If you want to really get a job, please be serious. Seriously dedicate your next three months. Seriously dedicate your next three months, next three months of life for seriously practicing Java. So if you are serious enough, then only. We can face the interview, then only we can get the job. See, um, as a fresher, you guys are lucky. Okay. Because most of the questions they last from core Java and SQL. But once you cross your uh, Pressure tag. You became at least two years of with the two years of experience. Then questions will be very different. So please be serious. Interview might be easy, but without preparation, no interview will be easy. Don't lose any opportunities because of no preparation.
So without preparation, you cannot be able to attend, you cannot be able to face the interview confidently. Even though the interview is easy, if you have not prepared, if you have not practiced, you might lose the opportunity. Don't lose any opportunity. Because you don't know. Next interviewer might ask tougher questions like out of code Java, out of out of code Java or out of SQL. Because competitions are high. Some other candidate will be there. They might know frameworks as well. They might know Spring and hibernate very well. So don't take any chances. You should not miss single question in Go Java and SQL. It should be perfect. Do by do. With the continue. Everybody try this send output. Everybody try and send out. Everybody has to try. Everybody try. See, I'll do one more thing. See, individually, I'm going to take the mock interviews. Individually, for everyone, I'm going to take the mock interviews. I don't know for whom I'm going to. I don't know for who, whom I'm going to take the interview. I'll just inform. Inform in the morning after the class. I will tell that time you need to attend in that time. You need to attend in that timings. Send output. Send output. Please send output, everybody. Please send output.
Please send the output everybody. See, these are all the basic uh, basics, language fundamentals. A B C D, A B C D of this Java. We have not entered the main concepts. So basics, basics. So I'm just covering as of now, whatever I'm doing, it is just a basic. Yeah, please send me the output. Otherwise, I'll call one by one. You need to unmute and you need to tell. Please send output. Chapin has sent three times begin and the end, then seven times begin. What about others? Others. So, initially, I will be initializing to zero, then entering the body of the two while begin. I got incremented to one, one greater than three, no, end. One less than ten, yes, once again you begin. Now one is becoming two, two greater than three. Two greater than three, no, then you end. Two less than ten, yes. Once again, go inside the body, printing begin. Two is becoming three. Three greater than three, no, end. Three less than ten, yes. Once again, going inside the body, begin. Three is becoming four. Whether four, whether four greater than three, yes. Four is greater than three. Four is greater than three. Four is greater than three. Continue without executing the end. Without executing the end. Into the next iteration. 
without printing the end without printing the end moving on to the next iteration of the do while what is the intent see after continue what happens it is going to check the condition whether whether for less than 10 yes begin for is becoming 5 5 greater than 3 yes checking the condition 5 less than 10 yes going inside the body begin 5 is becoming 6 6 greater than 3 yes continue is there 6 Less than 10, yes. Going inside the body. Printing begin. 6 is becoming 7. 7 greater than 3. Whether 7 is greater than 3, yes. Entering the clock continues there. Without executing the end. Without executing the end. Skipping, skipping to the next iteration of the do while. Whether 7 less than 10, yes. Entering the do while. Begin. 7 is becoming 8. Whether 8 greater than 3, yes. Continue. Without executing end. Skipping to the next iteration of the do while. Checking the while. Checking the condition now. Whether 8 less than 10, yes. Printing begin. Once again, going inside the do while. Printing begin. 8 is becoming 9. 9 greater than 3. Yes. Continues there. Because of continue, without, without executing, without executing remaining statement, that is end. Remaining statement is what? That is end. Without executing remaining statement, skipping to the next iteration of the do while, that is going to check whether 9 less than 10. Yes. Once again, going inside the body, Printing begin. 9 is becoming 10. Whether 10 greater than 3, yes. Continues there. Without executing the remaining statement. That is end. Skipping to the next iteration. Whether now it is going to check. Whether 10 less than 10? No. Now it is going to come out. So begin end. 3 times. Begin. After that, begin will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times. So, Chetan has properly predicted the output. And Parman also. What happened to the remaining students? What happened to the remaining? Now tell me the output.
you get What do you get? Send the output, everybody. See, you must analyze. See who are remaining. Arshita, Lavanya, Mohan. Please send our put. See, when you are sending the output, send it to me only, not everyone. So three people. Okay. Most of the most of you have sent proper output. Three times begin it, one time begin. So by seeing only be able to tell the output. What happens? I is zero. Begin. I is becoming one. One greater than three. No. Printing it. One less than ten. Yes. Going inside. Once again, begin. One is becoming two. Two greater than three. No. Printing end. Two less than ten. Yes. Begin. Two is becoming three. Three. Greater than three. No. Again. As of now, begin and print it three times. Now it is going to check whether three less than ten. Yes, going inside. Now it is be printing begin. Then three is becoming four. Three is becoming four. Four greater than three. Yes. Then it is going to print. Print that. Do I? So three times begin and. One time begin.
2y inside another 2y. 2y inside another 2y. See, for avoiding the confusion, I'm printing i and j value as well. Try to analyze it and send the output. I'll give you five minutes of time. Try to analyze it and send the output. Everybody has to try. Send the output.
guys please try it i'm giving you the try uh, i'm giving you the time to try it. okay not giving you the time to simply waste the time i'm giving you the time so that you can able to trace observe carefully everybody initially i is initializing to zero loop one begin current value zero now int j is equal to zero inside the outer do while loop within the body of the do within the body of the outer do while within the body of the outer do i'm initializing i'm declaring and initializing one variable j is equal to zero then we have another do while inside the body of the outer do while inside the body of the outer do while we have another do while loop no issues at all we can able to keep that loop to begin Look to begin. So the current j value is zero, right? J is incremented to one. Look to end. Current j value is one. Checking the condition. Checking the condition of inner do while loop. Whether one less than two, yes. Once again, going inside the inner do while loop. Look to begin. the current value of j that is 1 1 is becoming 2 loop to end whether 2 less than 2 no comes out comes out 2 less than 
now comes out then within the body of the outer do while loop we have these statements i got incremented to 1 now from 0 to 1 so what you will get loop 1 in 1 now 1 less than 3 yes 1 less than 3 yes Loop one begin. Loop one begin. Then for the inner one. Same story. Loop to begin. J value is 0. 0 is becoming 1. Loop to end 1. 1 less than 2. Yes. Loop to begin 1. 1 is becoming 2. Loop to end. Loop to end. To, yeah, it is 2. Then 2 less than 2, no, comes out. Outer, do while. Now 1 is becoming 2. 1 is becoming 2. Look 1 and 2. 2 less than 3, yes. Loop one begin two J got initialized into zero inner do while same story loop to begin J value zero then J got incremented to Now Loop to begin 0, j value got incremented to 1, loop to end, it is 1. One less than 2, yes. Look to begin. One one is becoming two. Look to end. Two. Now two less than two. No. Current value of five is two. Two is becoming three. Two is becoming three. is becoming 3. Loop 1 is 3. Now 3 less than 3? No. Comes out. Now this much of output you will get. Compare the output.
So this much of output you will get there. Parman has tried and Parman only tried. Yeah, when I have tried in books, sir. Who is that? Chetan. Chetan? Huh? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Did you send it? Sir, uh, I have tried it in book. That's why I didn't send it to you, sir. See what happened to other people. So this is the basic. In any language, you can take any language. Rules and conditions are very basics. Without rules and conditions, no pro programming language. Move on to the next. Do I including continuous? Do I including continue? It is going to continue the inner do while, not the outer, inner.
Can you able to quickly write output for this? Right output, everybody. Sir, I value means uh, I less than value or greater than value. It's not defined. Okay. Sorry, what? Sir, I, uh, I less than or, uh, or greater than value is not defined, right? Uh, okay. Okay, okay, sir. What happens for continue? What happens for break?
observe everybody look one begin i have added zero j is equal to zero look two begin zero j is becoming one one greater than one no look to end One less than two, yes. Look to take one. One is becoming two. J plus plus. One is becoming two. Two greater than one. Yes. Continue. Two greater than one. Continue. Without executing loop to end, skipping to the next iteration of the inner do while. Two less than two. No. False. Comes out. Incrementing the i value. Now these statements are part of outer do while. I plus plus i is becoming one. Loop one end one. Checking the condition of outer do while one less than three. Yes. Loop one begin one loop two begin zero zero becoming one one greater than one no loop two end one one less than two yes loop two begin. One, one is becoming two. Two greater than one. Yes. Continue without executing loop to end. Skip into the next iteration. Two less than two. No. Comes out. I value becoming two. Two less than three, yes. Look one begin. Two. Same story for the inner do while. Two begin zero. Look two. One a uh, zero is becoming one. One greater than one. No. So. Loop to end one one less than two yes loop to begin one one is becoming two two greater than one yes two is greater than one continue without executing loop to end colon one skipping to the next iteration then two less two less than two no. Pulse comes out. I value got incremented to. As of now, I value is two. Two value got incremented to three. Now, loop one end. Three. Now it's going to check the condition. Whether three less than three? No. Pulse comes out. It is going to come out of outer do while as well. Now check the output. Compare.
this much of output we get. In the same place, keep the break. In the same place, keep the break. What happens? It is not going to skip to the next iteration. Simply, it is going to break the inner do while. Whenever j becomes 2, whenever j becomes 2, it is not going to skip, skip to the next iteration. It is going to break the inner do while. Instead of continue, if you are keeping break, instead of continue, if you are keeping break, whenever j becomes 2, it is going to terminate the inner do while, not the outer, inner. If you want to terminate the outer, label them. Here, give the label. Give, give the label like this. Loop one. Then here while breaking, break the loop one like this. This is labeling. In the for loop pixel, we have seen this in the inner for loop. This is the case. Answer what is the output? Only four lines of output we get. Whenever, whenever j becomes true. Whenever j becomes true, breaking the loop one itself, outer do while loop itself, we are going to break. See, loops and conditions are very, very, very important.
can able to upload the assignments to this link. See, uh, from today, uh, just um, take the mock interviews. I don't know for whom I'm going to take. Everybody, please be prepared. So I'm going to let you know in the afternoon at what time you should attend. Individually, you should attend. So completely what I have done, loops and conditions from basics to till now. So from tomorrow onwards, we are going to cover method. Then we are going to start with the very important concept, static, basic building block. So be serious, practice all these things and upload the assignment. Whatever the assignment I have shared with you, in that, whatever the questions that is related to what I have covered till now, write those questions, upload it by the end of the day. I'm going to evaluate everybody's assignment. Then, Anybody, any one of you are going to attend the mock interview today. I'm going to let you know who is that person. So you can attend. So, okay guys, have a good day. So please be serious, practice, we'll continue tomorrow. If you have any queries, you can ask me now. Any queries you have? Sir, continue on break, sir. Yeah. See, nothing uh, is, uh, you know, very difficult in continue and break. In case of continue, what happens? It is going to skip to the next iteration. It is going to skip to the next iteration. See, simply, I'll write uh, one simple program. So here, let's take for loop or while loop or anything. Y is equal to zero. Let's test that then. I plus plus. Or loop picking. Plus I value. If condition. I double equal to 5. Or I greater than 5. So what you can do here is continue.
to continue his death. See, without continue, what happens? What happens? You will get for loop begin zero, for loop end zero. Like this, you will get from zero to nine. But we have specified continue in the if block whenever whenever i becomes a six whenever i becomes a six six is greater than five yes continue without executing for loop end i valid is going to skip to the next iteration see answer without if condition what you will get See, this is without if condition. For loop begin end zero zero. For loop begin one one. Like this, we get till nine. Whenever I become ten, it is going to terminate the loop. But if I have if condition, now carefully observe. From zero to five, we get same. Completely this much. Because condition fails for the if condition, it won't enter the if block. It won't enter the if block. Then it won't. It won't execute continue. It won't execute continue. So what happens? You will get for loop begin end from zero to five will get. Whenever I become a six, whenever I become six, for loop begin six, for loop begin six, six greater than five. Yes, continue. In case of continue, what happens? Without executing loop end, without executing remaining statements, whatever the statements it might be in the for loop, remaining statements. Remaining statements won't be executed. It is going to control. It is going to skip to the next iteration of the for loop. Now i is becoming seven. For loop seven, seven greater than five. Yes, continue without executing for loop end seven. It is going to skip to the next iteration. Becoming eight. For loop begin eight. Eight greater than five. Continue. Skip to the next iteration. Becoming nine. For loop begin nine. Nine greater than five. Yes, continue. Nine is becoming ten. Ten less than ten. No, comes out. Now carefully observe. Using continue, what is out? Have to compile, then run. See, whenever I becomes a six, you will only get begin. For loop begin six, seven, eight, nine. Not end. Remaining statement won't execute. Simply, it is going to skip to the next iteration. Understood, Lavanya? Yes, sir. The same case. If I keep break, what happens? Tell me. When sir, whenever, in the break, next statements will be executed, sir. Whenever, uh, if I, whenever I keep the break, what happens? Next statements will be executed. Executing or huh? executing or not? Yes, sir. It won't execute. If I keep the break, if I keep the break, entire loop is going to be terminated. Carefully observe. Continue. In case of continue, skip to the next iteration. In case of break, terminate, terminate the entire loop. Entire loop. It is not going to skip to the next iteration. Not skipping. Not skipping to next iteration.
See, whenever I become six, power loop begins six. Six is greater than five, yes, break. Only for loop begin six, then it is going to come out of the for loop. Understood the difference, Lavanya? So break one second. See here what happens. Completely this much is the body of the for loop. Completely this much. Now for loop, this is the initialization section. It is going to initialize to zero initially. In time is equal to zero. Then zero less than ten. Yes. For loop begin. We are going to print what? Zero. Then whether zero greater than five? No. So it won't execute. For loop end zero. Now for loop is going to be incremented by one. That means I will be incremented by one. This is going to check the condition. One less than ten. Yes. For loop begin printing one. One greater than five? No. So it won't execute. Break. So if block won't be executing, come to this state. For loop end one. One is becoming two. Next iteration, no. One is becoming two. Two less than ten. Yes. For loop begin two. Two greater than five. No. So it won't execute. It won't execute. Then for loop end two, two is becoming three. For loop begin three, three greater than five. No, it won't execute. For loop end three, three is becoming four. It is going to check the condition. Four less than ten. Yes. For loop begin four. Either four greater than five. No, so it won't execute. For loop end four. Now four is becoming five. Four is becoming five. Five less than ten. Yes. Going inside. For loop begin. Five. Five greater than five. No. It won't execute. For loop end five. Five is becoming six. Five is becoming six. Six less than ten. Yes. For loop begin six. Whether six greater than five. Yes. Six is greater than five. Now it is going to execute the break. Now it is going to execute the break. In case of break, entire for loop is going to be terminated. It is not going to skip to the next iteration. Control won't skip to the next iteration. It is going to terminate the entire for loop. Comes out. That's it. Only we'll get for loop begin six. Understood? Yes, sir. Fine. Any other doubts? So please uh, practice and see the assignment. We'll continue tomorrow. From tomorrow onwards, we should be more serious. Because uh, we are going to start with uh, very important concepts. I'm going to start with method. Then I'm going to start with static, static keyword. So from tomorrow onwards, the actual Java concepts is going to start. So please uh, be thorough with all these topics. Concepts, whatever cover till now. We'll continue tomorrow. Have a good day.